Hulk Hogan is the most famous wrestler in the history of wrestling entertainment, and nobody even comes close to the amount of fame he has earned over his career. Being the indisputable face of wrestling in the 1980s, Hulkamania has established itself as a WWE legend. Throughout his career, though, he has been a very protected guy, only losing to the likes of Sting and Flair. However, there have definitely been matches where the audience was shocked, and so would you be, as today we present to you the wrestlers who shockingly beat Hulk Hogan. So, without any further ado, let us get rolling. Number 8. Kurt Angle Starting off our list with the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. Kurt has been around Hogan for almost half of his career. Initially, he was part of the roster after the NWO showed up once WCW was bought by Mr. McMahon. While Hogan was the biggest star back then, Kurt was just warming up as a rookie. However, in TNA, now known as Impact Wrestling, Kurt was quite the star when he met Hogan again. You may think, though, that hey, why is Kurt beating Hogan shocking? He's a legend himself. Well, this is because back in 2002, Kurt Angle was still relatively new compared to the mainstream stars. The Olympic gold medalist beat Hulkamania in that year's King of the Ring pay-per-view. What's more surprising was that Kurt defeated Hogan by submission and not pinfall. This would be a legendary scenario since no one from WWE has ever defeated Hogan by submission. Number 7. Triple H Another legend on the list. Just like Angle, Triple H was not the biggest star back then. I mean, he was famous, but not as famous as Steve Austin or Hulk Hogan. NWO and Hulk Hogan would invade the WWE and cause chaos all over the wrestling world. Even though Hogan was a heel, he would soon return to being the babyface he always has been when he beat Triple H for the WWE title in Backlash 2002. Triple H, however, called for retribution. Hogan would soon lose his title to the dead man and Triple H would get his dream rematch against the Hulkster. Results would inevitably change this time as Triple H would shock the whole world and go on and defeat Hulk Hogan in SmackDown. Number 6. Vampiro WCW in its prime was filled with stars that were quite old. Sting, Hogan, and almost everyone else who was main eventing the matches were pretty old. This was worrying for the company as they were not being able to promote any good youngsters. Vince Russo thought he had a master plan to give youth a chance to show their talent. What was the plan? Well, he just threw random match cards where youngsters would beat veterans so that they could be more popular. One of these would be when Vampiro was put against Hogan. He would defeat Hogan with a bit of help from Billy Kidman, who was at that time having a feud with the Hulk. Ultimately, all these stupid storylines would not promote the youngsters at all, but the fans were awfully shocked since Hogan was defeated by such a jobber. Number 5. Arn Anderson Y'all remember Arn Anderson? Yeah, the same Anderson of the Four Horsemen and, of course, Ric Flair's best friend in WCW. This was before NWO was formed and Hogan was still the most babyface character in all of WCW. He was having a pretty heated feud with Ric Flair and was on the main event of Nitro against Arn Anderson. As you may already have guessed, Anderson never had the capability to defeat Hogan all by himself. He would get aid not only from Ric Flair, but also Nancy Benoit, who would throw some powder in Hulk's eyes. All this would result in a shocking defeat for our legend. Number 4. Earthquake During the 80s, it was hard to see the Immortal One losing any battles or feuds. It was that time when Hulk was being pushed to his greatness. Superstar after superstar came and jobbed for Hogan, and he became the biggest name of WCW within a few years. One of these jobbers would be Earthquake. He was like a mini version of the Big Show. Not only was he a monster of a wrestler, but he would go on to have an extremely well-written feud with Hulkamania. Who won the feud? Well, of course, it was Hogan. Why would WCW make their biggest star lose? But Hogan did lose to Earthquake along the way, which would come as a surprise to many fans. Number 3. Lanny Pofo 
I bet not even you could see this coming. Lamau, Lanny Pofo defeating Hulk Hogan. Is this a joke? Well, nope. He surely did defeat Hogan, and that too in the 80s. It has been no secret that Pofo's brother Randy Savage and Hogan had quite a lot of feuds. The fans bought it like crazy. However, no one could ever see this coming. Hulk Hogan loses against Lanny Pofo. It all occurred on Saturday night's main event back in 1989. Lanny would last a staggering eight minutes in the ring against Hogan. How did he win? Pinfall or submission? Well, neither. Mr. Perfect interfered in the match, which caused Hogan to be disqualified, giving Pofo the craziest win the wrestling world has ever seen. Number 6. Mike Awesome 2000 was probably the worst year for Hogan in his WCW career. He had to face embarrassing defeats one after one, and Mike Awesome also makes the list of people who defeated him that year. This loss came right before Hogan was defeated by Vampiro. How did he manage to lose this one? Well, the same reason. Hogan was still in a feud with Billy Kidman. There is no way Billy would let Hulkamania win a single match, and therefore he had to interfere between the match and help Mike grab the victory. All it took for Mike was to pin Hulk since Billy had already done all the damage with the steel chair. If you've made it this far and have enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to be entered into our monthly shout-out giveaway. Once you do it, comment I sub down below. Without further ado, let's get to the most exciting moment. Number 2. Tony Atlas it was during the early 1980s when Tony was a big name in the industry, while Hogan was just starting up. Hogan at that time was having an undefeated run as he was being pushed higher up into the ranks. He was forced into a feud with the babyface Tony as young Hogan was a ferocious heel at that time. Even though they hated it, the fans expected Hogan to win this feud since he was winning it all against every single one who came in his path. However, in a short seven-minute match, Hogan was pretty easily defeated by Tony Atlas, which would be a huge upset for the fans, as they were expecting a much more heated and longer fight. This feud would continue for a long time, and eventually, Hogan would have the last laugh. Number 1. Dusty Rhodes The last one on the list that shockingly beat the Hulkamania is none other than the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. This one is quite interesting. Even though both the superstars were present together in WCW and WWF, they never really battled in any of those promotions. This was mostly because both Rhodes and Hulk were babyfaces. However, both these legends faced each other in NJPW. Hogan's NJPW run consisted of only a few defeats, and all of them from considerably big stars, such as Antonio Inoki and Andre the Giant. Dusty Rhodes was lucky that he could register a win against Hogan and make this list. It was during the first annual MSG Tag League, when Hogan beat Dusty so much that he was bleeding like hell. In the process, Hogan would hit the referee and then be disqualified. Be sure to check out wrestlers that were reckless in the ring, and I'll see you guys in the next video.